A Carbon County police chief and his friend are behind bars tonight, charged with raping a child hundreds of times when they were just teenagers. The alleged victim says that the sexual assault started when she was four years old and continued regularly for seven years. The girl first came forward back in 2012, but her story is just now coming to light. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Strunk joins us live in our Pocono newsroom with details about this case. Brianna. Well, Nick, 27-year-old Brent Getz became Weisport's police chief just last month. He was appointed by Borough Council. The Pennsylvania Attorney General's office says he is also a police officer in several other Carbon County departments. Weisport, the tiny borough with a population of 400, woke up to disturbing news. I think it's disgusting, honestly. Weisport's police chief, 27-year-old Brent Getz, and his friend, 28-year-old Gregory Wagner, both of Lee Heighton, are accused of repeatedly raping a young girl between 2005 and 2012. She was between the ages of 4 and 11. This would allegedly happen in Wagner's room while pornography was playing. That's something, that's a shame about raping a child. The Pennsylvania Attorney General's office says the victim first came forward in 2012. Local police investigated, but charges weren't filed. In 2015, the case was reassigned and officers prepared criminal charges, which the judge dismissed due to a paperwork error. Charges were never refiled until the case was revisited last year. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that went on around here for a year, so it really ain't surprising to anybody. According to neighbors, the Weissport Police Department only has one officer, and that's Getz. We came to Borough Hall for comment, but according to this sign, they're only open Monday. Tyler Fisher lives across the street. I don't really know him, like, personally. I mean, like, I've heard of him. People say comments about him, but, like, nothing really good I hear about him. And authorities say yesterday Wagner admitted that he and Getz did have sexual contact with the victim. Prosecutors say they have electronic devices and cell phone video to help prove their case. Live in the Pocono Newsroom, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. There's disturbing allegations tonight. All right, Brianna, thank you. And Getz and Wagner are behind bars in Carbon County, unable to post the $250,000 straight cash bail each. They are due in court for preliminary hearings next month.